uh, YouTube. This is a second uh, video to the new rule uh, variant, and I think this one's going to be a little bit better version. Um, it's a little bit more clear and concise than the first video. I did a little bit of checking here to see if it'll work, and it, I think it will. So back to referring from the first video, um, we talked about the different advantages and disadvantages it's going to have uh, for the the z-axis uh, vertical aspect. Well, before I was changing the range, um, that was getting kind of confusion, kind of confusing and a little, I don't want to say pointless, but it would it probably would drag the games on more too. So as far as weapons, your range doesn't change at all, okay? Um, this range, three, and you're always going to do the base check first. So that's, that's where it'll 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 make it a little bit clearer as far as that way it's not confusing where like oh is this is this uh starship two levels above this one oh where's my range at none of that so you can still attack normally with this this range whether you're in level one two or three whatever you can you can always do the first uh vanilla rule which is kind of cool because you know if if there's a ship that's destroyed i mean then you don't have to worry about Oh, am I within range because I'm a different level? No, just blow them away. Use your regular attack. What the the different Z level is going to do, or Z axis is going to do, is going to give you uh, an added bonus or advantage depending on the situation. So if you're squared off like this, okay, and uh, it depends on obviously the ships because uh, certain ships have different evade, which is the green, the evade dice here, here are these guys right here. So, if, let's say, for example, um, which in this situation, obviously, depending on the turn and everything, and depending on what he fired, you know, Captain Kirk would fire first, because his, he has a 9, so that's still there. But let's just say, for example, you, you probably, in this situation, you probably wouldn't mess with your Z, or, or if you're already in the Z, or in the different level, then that's up to you, and then he may have an advantage over you, so it's up to you. But... What it's going to do is, um, when you're doing the different levels, let's say, for example, she's in a different level here. I keep using her, but, you know, it's all it's all good. What the heck did I do with my... Damn it. What the heck did I do with my... Oh, they're right here. So, so say she's going to be at level 1, okay? Because that's level 0, that, that plane, first plane is level 0. Okay. So now she's here, let's say. Now this is just an example. Obviously, he would have the first attack, but maybe his, maybe he's damaged or whatever. Okay. So, what does that do? That what that does is, if, if the now, if he is if his cross section of the whole air of the whole starship is in this three range, from here from the point, which he's not. See, he's not at all. So so that. That just makes it so that you can, you know, it's, it, 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 it sucks because you're going back, but that's, that's going to be your distance factor, your slight distance because you're, you know, you're staying the same plane, but then you're moving up, so your distance is going to be slightly, but not much. So that's just an example. Let's see how he's not, he's not in range as far as the new advantage because the new advantage, like I said, if let's say he's, he's, he's running away, he's like this. She would be in a very good position here because, well, first of all, she's behind him, but if he is in, if she's in a different plane like this, level one, and he's in this, this three, he has to fully be in that three, okay? That means he loses one evade die because it's harder to evade when your cross section is bigger is basically is the premise to it, what's going on here. Okay, now if she's at level two advantage, we're gonna call this an advantage. Level two meaning two levels in the opposite direction he is. So even if he was higher and she was lower, that's still the same, okay? The height doesn't really matter, it's just the different levels. He's, he's at level zero, she's at level two. If he was at level one and she was at level three, that'd still be your level two. Anyway, just to clarify that. So now, if she's up here, obviously, she still can use the vanilla shot, right? He still gets his normal evade and all that, okay? 
All right. If he's, I think the rule book says if any part of this is touching the two, then he can't use the evade. But whatever. We'll we'll uh, we'll adjust that later. But as of right now, okay, she can just shoot him normally. She can still use the minus or the or the 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 no plus one evade to to shoot at him, which is devastating, really. Um, because this because the Enterprise only has one evade. But anyway, so each ship is different. So the Enterprise would have two evade in this case, but anyway, so she's not within range of the minus one evade, okay? That would be devastating. So if she was closer, like right here, let's say, okay, and it's really simple to do, right? You just go, and if, if the ship is in that two, you know, basically, you know, as long as he's at all part of the ship, of the range of, of the array, is there then he has well this ship would be down to zero of eight he's screwed basically <laughs> so you still use the same attack dice she would use a three depending on like target lock and that all applies too so if she rolls a three oh my god dude he just got hit three times he has no chance of evading at that because like I said his ship is only a one right this out here was a plus two, but she's at a different level, so that drops it down to to just one. And then if he's in this range, oh my goodness, he's toast. He, he has no evade dice that he can counter these, unless he has crew members and all that. That will come into a factor too, right? Now, if he's here, and, and like I said, we'll go, we'll go, we can go another level, level one, we can go even level higher to level three. Level three puts you on this line, okay? So you got, or did I say that wrong? Oh, yeah, actually I said that wrong, I'm sorry. Level 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 one, he has to be in the three. Level two, he has to just touch the two. So he has to basically, any part of it touches the two. Okay, so like right here is level two. All right. And then for level three, which would be the next one up, Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I apologize for saying that wrong. Okay, level three, he just has to be in that too. So right there, that is really devastating. Um, uh, what could he do for defense? Uh, the next turn, just get the heck out of there, run away. Uh, do a very aggressive uh, up maneuver to kind of get his evasive dice back. But he would have to kind of move out and up to try to get that advantage out of the way. Um, and obviously if she's right on his butt or on the side or like something like that and it works the same for his For his reverse if he has that special she's got to be careful because it, it does work the same for defending or for attacking uh, Other th things you gotta you gotta kind of watch yourself. Obviously the ultimate Position would be on the side of him like that, but if she's here and he's you know she, You know well into that zero evade right? then yeah i mean she can she can pop him with an extra attack die and, and that would be really devastating i mean oh there are two hits and a crit i mean yeah and then you got target locks and all that so that's uh that's what i want to talk about and obviously if he wanted to get his evasive maneuver back be more evasive he would have to go out and then up to, to you know, get it, but your range never changes. Remember that your range does not change. I can't say that enough because before I was trying to change the range, like of your weapons, but that that would be too crazy. Because like I said, it's not linear. How far you're moving up, and you're changing the cross section when you're you know getting the view, um, you're not moving up as much as this. I mean, it would have to be a uh, you know that would really change your range then. But since we're we're already changing the range a little bit from the base of the from the base here, the tip, and then we're just going to the middle. So that does change the range slightly. And then also with the whole cross section. And if your cross section of your ship is bigger, obviously um, it's gonna be, I guess, to get that to get that full advantage, the bigger it is, the more it takes, longer it takes to fill this whole thing, which is fine. But yeah, anyways, it would be harder to evade, basically, when you're, when you're in that, in that, uh, spot there 
So uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, Rutgers bring out.